today I am going to tell you all about jade rollers. You might have heard about these before, they have been around for decades, centuries even. So these are mine, okay, so I have two separate ones. Often you might get them that look like that in one. So there's usually a larger roller and a small roller. So jade, you could kind of get into all the crystal side of it and the healing of the, the stones. To me, it's kind of like the happy stone. From a physical point of view, kind of if we kind of get, get grounded and feet on the floor, from a physical point of view, it is a solid surface that's smooth that you can push into the skin. So I know I've kind of read a lot of things about what are they actually doing. For me, they are really helping with the drainage. They are going to potentially give a lift and enable you to get into the muscles. They are not going to be reducing the size of your pores. I know I've read that, I just wanted to make it clear, sorry that's my dog, that they're not gonna be reducing the size of your pores and it's not really, from a medical point of view, going to be stimulating your elastin, okay? So I just wanted to get kind of realistic with what they can and can't do. You could keep them in the fridge or the freezer. The only thing with that is as soon as you take them out and you've rolled them, they kind of then your skin temperature, so they, they lose the cold really quickly. Personally, I like using a bowl. I've put a handful of ice cubes in with water, okay? So when I've rollered, I then put them in there, so I'll then swap to my other one and swap it out. So the roller is constantly cold. So you've got that freshness, the cold is kind of constricting the muscles, it's stimulating the blood flow, so it's adding another dimension to using your jade rollers at home. So the other thing that I've read and heard about is about putting your serums on and your creams and rollering over the top. I'm not a huge fan of using your serums with this. Serums can sometimes go a little bit tacky on the surface of the skin. So I find then with the rollers, you can almost be kind of dragging on the skin. You can use the rollers without anything. So you could cleanse your face and go straight in with the cold rollers. They've got a smooth surface, so they roll perfectly over the surface of the skin. You could use it with an oil. I've got uh, a coconut oil, you know, we could apply a small amount of that, or you could maybe use it over a night cream or something. It would need a little bit of a slip and that it's not gonna go tacky on the surface of the skin, okay. Very simply, taking it out of the cold water, drying it, I'm actually going to start on my neck and shoulders. So very simply, I'm rollering and pushing into the skin and the muscles. I've got such tight muscles. So what's nice about these, if you find a knot, you can work on that area. I would keep it to the sides, reducing the tension, stimulating the lymphatic flow, but avoid here. We don't want to be covering this middle section where we're kind of swallowing. So we're releasing off the muscles first. Then I'm going to take this onto the face. I could stick it back into so it's nice and fresh and cold. It's still feeling quite cold at the moment actually. So I'm starting from the middle and rollering out. So I push out and then I glide back. So push and glide, push and glide, push. So it's chin to ear, push, push. You can see there's a little bit of pinkness. I'm then pushing up. So here to here. I can feel I've got some nice tension here. So it's pushing into that. I'm then holding side of nose so that I can get a full sweep. Pushing up on 
my crow's feet. So again, I'm pushing up and gliding back. This is now actually my body temperature. So ideally, I should be sticking this back into the coal to refresh it before I continue on the rest of the face. So pushing up. It does feel a little bit odd on the forehead just because the muscle, it's a flat muscle and you do feel like you're just going over bone but there obviously is muscle underneath which is allowing us to move our foreheads and rollering in the middle as well, working on those brown lines and you can visibly see the pinkness from where I've worked in comparison to the other side. I'm then swapping to my small roller. I am going to focus drainage around the eyes. So out, out, and underneath. You can also close eyes and go over the top, gently over the top. I'm going to drain down. And I'm also going to do a little bit of a drainage underneath the jaw and around the mouth. So I'm going both ways around the mouth. I've got a muscle that kind of circulates the lips. And a little bit more just of my crow's feet. I've got a dog trying to escape. So that is, I've done one side of my face. So that's literally been maybe two minutes on one side of my face, and then I would repeat all of that to the other side. So this is now cold and fresh again, starting on my neck. And then chin out, so pushing, Push, push, push. I'm doing each move about three to five times in one position. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey. So pushing up and then out. Crow's feet and then up on the foreheads, so pushing up. And I'm going to focus again on those middle elevenses lines. And then using my small roller around my eyes. Feels really cool and fresh. Up, under. Yes, this is what we're doing. Some drainage down. And then underneath jaw. So I've done all of that without any product on my skin. There is no dragging or anything. So, you know, if you've got a sensitive skin, you don't need, uh, you know, a, a product on there to use your rollers. If you've got an oily skin, you know, you don't need to add extra oil to make them work. So they're really universal as to the skin types that they suit. Um, so a really nice addition to your at-home skincare routine from a, a holistic point of view. I hope you have found that helpful. Please do ask me any questions below. I am always happy to help.